Hey guys, it is Jake here from Next Generation Cleaners PT Gaming, and today I'm going to bring you guys uh, part two of the tutorial on how to make an XRPC. And um, I had all day to think about this, and I have come to the conclusion that I am going to do NW3 um, for this XRPC. So this is a day after uh, I made the first uh, part of the tutorial, which is how you know do the base of it and. The base of it is used for any XRPC, but um, today I just decided to do MW3. Alright, so I haven't really edited anything in it. Well, same thing as you saw yesterday. Um, but, um, yeah, so now you have your XRPC open, you're going to want to just add a button. Alright, and that, we're going to have this button say... What do we want this button to say? Laser. And this is going to be a laser. Alright, so each day I want to go down the row of making, you know, different tabs. I'm sorry this is just out of the blue. Just random, but, um, each day I'm just going to go down the uh, row and just add a tab and then add some stuff onto it, alright? Anyway, back on track. Um, once you made your thing that says laser, double click, and then you should get your button here. And have it say JTAG dot um, set memory um, new byte. Um, I think that's what it is. Right, I have the coding right here anyway, so for instance, this is. Unlimited ammo, but we don't want unlimited ammo. Actually, let's just do un unlimited ammo. All right. So that is for unlimited ammo. You type in JTAG dot set memory, and the offset for um um the unlimited ammo. And these are the parameters for the unlimited ammo. All right. So I'm gonna go back to this. I'm gonna change this to unlimited ammo. And I will give you guys a link to like all of the uh, offsets for MW3. All right, so now you have this. You might want to add some text. So once you turn, uh, select the mod, it t it says it on the screen. You know what I'm saying? So once you select, you know, unlimited ammo, it'll say unlimited ammo set or on. All right. And so with with this, we're just gonna do this. And then voila, JTAG dot call, then the offset, and I'll give you guys the offset in the description because I don't think you can find it anywhere else. Um, but anyway, and then negative one, which sends it to all the of the um, all of the uh, the clients that are in the game, and then C, and then your text. So right now it says normal jump. We want to make this super jump, and sometimes uh. It cuts off if you add a space. You might want to add no spaces or add a an underscore. All right. So now it says super jump one. Um, white is super jump. Three is yellow. Two is green. So super jump one. All right. I'm not super jump. Oh my god. Unlimited ammo. What am I doing here? All right. So now, unlimited ammo is done. All right. Save it. Add another button. Or, you know what? Forget that right now. Click this unlimited ammo once. V. Control V. Control V. Control V. So now you got four of the same buttons, but they don't have the same coding. They just have the same, you know, design. I know I'm getting a little bit crazy over here, but still. Aye, aye, aye. Anyway, you guys get the point. So now we're going to add laser. Okay. Name is laser. And double click. So now this is forward slash forward slash laser. Alright. 
And now I'm just going to find the link to all the MW3. Crap. So if you're going to look these up, look for TU23 and not 1.24, because that's for, um, what you call it, PS3. And you're not looking for PS3, you're looking for Xbox. And I, I don't know if I've ever even said this, but this is for Xbox. Okay. So now we're going to do laser. Okay. And here is the offset for laser. And over here is the parameters for laser. Okay. Well, so we'll get to that in a little bit. All right. So jtag.set memory. You just double click set memory. And then um, in parentheses, I think that's what it's called. And then put the offset. Comma space new byte and then we're gonna put this at the end here, which is the where's it at? We're doing laser, so here are the parameters. Right there is where we're gonna put the parameters, but you're gonna want to put zero x and then right between f and one comma space between you can just watch it I think this is going to be an HD so and that's how you get the laser so jtag dot set memory and you're going to add this but just for the hell of it I'm not going to take waste my time because I know your time is valuable you don't want to sit here and watch me do all this All right, laser is one. I don't know why it is giving an error. Oh, no wonder. All right, laser is complete. Now, what you guys are probably looking for is super jump. So super jump. All right. Now I have all this stuff over here already set out. And this is not going to be jtag.set memory. This is going to be write float. Okay. And for some reason, I'm getting an error here. I think I might know what, I know what the answer is. Um, hold up. Sorry about this, guys. Going, oh, no one. Okay. Now the it's gone. All right. So now we have super jump right here, and then we have fall damage down here. So super jump is pretty high. It's not that high. It's average, high, like most super jump. But it's not that insane super jump. All right, and this is fall damage. So when you fall back down, you don't die. All right. So we're just gonna do jtag.call, and then what is it? And put that in there. Put a semicolon at the end. And we're gonna have this say. And uh, if you want to do this, you have to have XRPC plus plus dot CS um, here, over here. You see what I'm talking about? So just put that on your desktop like you saw me do earlier. And then just put uh, put in your whatever the name of your solution is, which mine is XRPC tut for tutorial. And then it'll pop up down here. And this is not really a reference. I don't really know what the heck you call this. But it's what you need to put in here to uh, not give you an error whenever you do right float. Because that is what you need for super jump and fall damage and a couple other mods, alright? So super jump is now done. Now we're gonna add uh, we're gonna add something called no recoil, which gives you no recoil. Alright, let's double tap that. JTAG dot set memory. 
And we're gonna put the offset right here, but I have to find the offset, which is somewhere over here. Here it is. Put the parameters in here. Oh, there. Okay, we need the parameters. Or the bytes, parameters, bytes, same thing. Zero x. All right. So now JTAG, uh, no recalls set up. So you, just so you know what it is, and you can also close these if they're too long. This uh, I don't know if if you have something that's too long in there, you could just you know minimize it. So if you're trying to find something, it's not that big. And it's easier for you to find. And then we're gonna find. All right. And then we're gonna do this. Where's that? I'm gonna give you guys a link to a uh, text file that has all this stuff in there. You can just copy and paste it. All right. What is this new recall? All right. New recall is set up. And now the next one we're going to want to do is, what's the next one we can do? Full auto. <coughs> Change this to full auto. It's now full auto. Retag dot set memory. The offset I'm gonna put the ramp parameters right there but first we have to do that and here are bytes all right voila and then that is all set up and I do realize that this is very time consuming guys and I'm sorry about that I forget what this is. Full auto. I name it full auto. And I will give a link and I will make a video testing this tool um, when we're done with this tutorial. I'll give you guys a link to the tool. Alright. I don't know what we're going to name this one. What other mods do we have here? No clip. But no clip hardly ever works. So let's do red boxes. So red boxes. I don't know why I'm not just copying and pasting, but I guess it's cooler this way. Well, and then you take that call, and this just notifies whatever the tool, I mean, not the tool, whatever mod is on. So, whatever mod this is right here, red boxes, red boxes is set up. Wall hack is next. Crap. One second, guys. Change this to wall hack. Crap, what am I doing?
pretty self-explanatory guys you guys will eventually get the hang of it I mean this, this stuff is the easy stuff it gets harder but I don't feel like doing all this stuff right now so I don't know what this is again anyone know what this is wall hack oh yeah Near the wall hack. Okay. Small crosshairs. Crosshair is really small crosshair. It takes all your crosshairs and put it puts in the middle. So it's kind of like super steady aim, sort of. Okay. Not doing the uh, text anymore. You guys get the hang of it. Alright, so what's next? Let's do last uh, stand. This puts everyone in the last stand. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. If you guys just go in slow mo with this, I'm sure you guys can see what I'm doing here and how I'm doing it. It's not really that hard. I know I'm saying this, but it's not—it's really not that hard of a tutorial. Just to add all, in all, in all these fun mods here. We gotta do this. All right, there, and I'll add the text later. Um, I'm pretty sure this is unlimited UAV. Just gonna name that UAV. There's that, and this is UAV. There, and there's that. You know why this is all the way over here? What is going on? Okay, what is going on here? Why is this like this? Oh. There, fix it. Small crosshairs. I don't know how the heck that just messed up. Maybe someone can tell me how that messed up in the comments section. Alright. So now all this stuff is working. Save it all. Make sure you save it every now and again. All right. Now we're just going to debug it to see if it works. Give me a sweet tea. Oh crap! And all this should work, but since I don't have my RGH yet, it's coming in the mail tomorrow. Um, it's not really, you know, possible to show you guys how this is going to work here. But, um, yeah. So, there's a couple other small mods you could add, like God Mode and stuff like that, but I don't really know how it works. Um, what else can we do here? That's pretty much all we could do. But, uh, yeah. If you guys like this video, please like and don't forget to subscribe. See ya.